you doing? <laughs> so it's been a while since I've last updated my page. So I've just I'm so sorry. Uh, I was just busy with uh, some stuff in here. But uh, so yeah, I decided to just uh, <coughs> pull this video up in a in a package. Okay, so. Since there's no way for us to be interactive here, um, I'm not gonna go with Facebook Live. I don't think so because uh, I've tested it a while and uh, I am lacking some equipment here. Um, the sound quality is just too unacceptable for me. So this is the best that I can do right now. Um, so yeah, uh, it's been a while since uh, I've last uploaded in the what do you want to learn really i mean <laughs> uh, i think uh, all of this stuff is in facebook i mean uh, in youtube already right so <clears throat> before the problem with the world before without the internet is that there's nothing almost no information regarding ukuleles that you can uh, you can uh, stumble upon and uh, master or study but right now on the contrary there is too much out there <laughs> so uh how do you want to start is the problem so because of information bombardment of information uh you are being nailed on not not able to start because you don't know where to start okay um which will you digest and which uh techniques or concepts will you uh, let go because uh it's not all of it that's going to be helping you out i trust me because uh yeah i'm i've been uh, playing uh guitar for almost more than a decade more than a decade already but for ukulele i've uh just started way back 2016 oh uh, yeah i just decided to go to a solitary i call it my solitary confinement because uh in my apartment uh, previously uh, we like half a decade ago uh, I decided to lock myself up in the room and just study ukulele for the whole day I will just go out to buy food and because uh, I'm just living alone here um, and just really dive into those techniques and don't I don't seem to uh, care what's happening outside uh, all I wanted was to learn uh, that's how passionate I was with the ukulele, with the ukulele. so uh, in a short span of time I was able to uh, like digest some of the fundamentals because uh, <clears throat> I'm fond of wa watching uh, Ted TEDx uh, I don't know if you're a subscriber in YouTube they have a channel as well uh, anything anything art science and uh, any any uh, concepts under the sun that is interesting they are discussing it and one of the uh, one of the uh, mentors there discussed on how to learn something fast so I just applied it in my ukulele playing uh, just to eliminate the uh, unnecessary uh, waste of resources like my like your time number one our number one commodity is time so uh, that's why I always see to it that in my uh, if you can uh, notice in my tutorials that I am always straightforward and uh, it's only now that I'm gonna be talking talking less playing okay so um, my um, I think we need to uh, we need to decide now so you already know the the chords right <laughs> strum pattern triplet triplet mute some are even uh, fond of doing the me 
making this like a classical guitar. Finger picking. So, what else? Uh, doing the one man, one man uh, band ukulele stuff. How do you do that? That's why I, in in my end, uh, I don't really know where to start as well. So, not unless we are face to face, I can ask you uh, and let you play, and uh, so that I can observe as well on which side we are we're going to be working on. Because uh, I really don't have a clue. So, basically, this is only a general idea that I'm going to be sharing right now. Uh, all those. Um, important stuff so yeah uh, chord progression so usually C uh, it applies in this is a basic rule in music okay uh, piano guitar ukulele the progress the uh, uh, we call this the progress chord progression the usual chord progression because our ears or brain are are just used to this I think it's Western right? Yeah, that's it. C, F, G, C. So it comes kind of like if you're going to be describing the, the progression, the sound, the pitch, the, the ups and downs, it's like a circle, right? Circular. So everything in this world is made up of a cycle. So there's life, there's death. And it will be a rebirth and then it's uh, gonna be growing and they're uh, gonna be uh, facing death again uh, when it's the day later it will be uh, the night time and uh, the morning comes and it's another day so uh, yeah that I think that's the sacred rule of the universe so same with ukulele uh, the universal law applies as well or everything is a cycle. It's just the different uh, key or pitch. It's uh, so I've used G, C, D, back to G. A while ago, it starts with C, F, G, C. So whichever chord. Uh, progression are you using it depends on your capability when you're singing or uh, on the on the pitch of your voice uh, which are you much more comfortable you can start at any any key or any chord it doesn't matter but make sure that it's this you're following the cycle okay so that is all the major uh, circular I describe it as circular form and uh, <clears throat> there is one chord progression pattern as well that has one minor and three majors, like C, E minor, F, uh, I mean C, A minor, F, right? Oh, a basic melody that every uh, every musician every player should know uh, when it's almost all the songs uh, follows those uh, uh, fundamental universal rule when it comes to playing right if you're gonna be starting with uh, another key like the G next will be E minor C and then D Oh Carol It's kinda lower I am but a fool Darling I love you Though you're too cruel 
I can't uh, dive deeper uh, regarding the, the pitch of the uh, singing, but that's the same. That's the same uh, concept. It's only the frequency, the the key, uh, the pitch that is changing. So that's it. Basic rule. Uh, that's how you practice uh, uh, reviving, or I mean, not reviving a doing a cover just by using your ear. Okay. Um, there's a lot of songs that. G. That's it. It's applicable everywhere. Uh, uh, just make sure that you are uh, uh, aware of the. Uh, I mean like you memorize the song by heart and that is pretty much easy when you apply it in uh, playing the ukulele, any song. Uh, I don't tend to limit myself with uh, Hawaiian uh, strumming, stuff like that. Um, uh, I kind of like see the ukulele as a, I don't know, uh, uh, a freestyle or a free for all instrument. Because it's kind of, it's very so handy, it's so light that you can uh, It's uh, <clears throat> uh, possible to do the stuff that you can't do with a gu guitar and ukulele, so um, first of all, your imagination should uh, should be uh, the one working for So imagine things. Uh, what if I do this? Or uh, how will it sound like? And uh, uh, just don't limit yourself with uh, with those. I'm not against those really. Those are the fundamentals. But there's a lot. There's even a, the simplest song in an ukulele is from that I know of is from Pegasus Bridge. Uh, the song Yoko, so it it goes like this. It's all downstroke. I didn't even hear an upstroke with that uh, song from a beautiful song from Pegasus Bridge. So I don't know. Uh, I don't know it is of that. Uh, what is it really that you want to learn? But all I'm doing is uh, sharing the stuff that I think helped me because I'm trying to put my uh, myself in your shoes right now when I was starting. So. <laughs> Um, basically, almost all the beginners miss to understand. Uh, it's not only in the instrument; uh, it's almost all of the aspects of knowledge in in the in the world. Uh, we need to start with uh, basic. We need to learn to walk before we can run, right? So, um, I think that's it for now. I, I don't know. I, actually, I just decided to make uh, to shoot this video because I have this new gear or ring light and stuff like that. Just want to try it out and uh, hopefully, if something pops up, 
Uh, I'm just kind of writing it down. Uh, whenever I stumble upon an idea, I don't, uh, I don't allow it to pass by without me taking down notes. I need to document it. Because in the future, I'll be able to use it. I have this <coughs> little notebook that I have. So you might want to do that one as well. And uh, for uh, for the ukulele uh, uh, fundamentals that I was uh, talking about a while ago, uh, the basic stuff, uh, it actually don't start with the ukulele. It, playing the ukulele doesn't start with the instrument. It's kind of it's kind of ironic, right? Uh, if we're gonna be <laughs> We're gonna be thinking, uh, how do you how do you learn playing the ukulele? Don't grab the ukulele first, okay? I mean, what? Yeah, or don't grab it first. Why? Because uh, the more you that you are, the more that you want something, the more it is that you're gonna be uh, researching uh, more, learning more about it. So. If you're gonna be grabbing it all at once, if you don't know any chord yet, and you're gonna be grabbing it at once, oh, ukulele! I wanna play the ukulele! And you stumbled upon chord progressions or chords that are kind of difficult to play, there's a big chance that you're gonna be stopping and discouraged. So don't grab it yet. Study, re do a research, the history of the jump. I think that's a jumping flea or uh, the ukulele uh, where did actually this according to history this didn't start in Hawaii some Hispanic uh, people uh, brought it there uh, with a different name it, it, it was just uh, revived uh, the Hawaiians made their own version of it so that's it and uh, yeah I'll be be obsessed with it first before you start playing okay <clears throat> how to learn the ukulele fast is uh, <coughs> don't grab an ukulele first set a time a time frame uh, i don't want to hold it first i just need to uh to want i, I mean i i just you just need to trigger your desire your obsession your uh you're wanting to, uh, really wanting to play it. And uh, up to the point that you're gonna be saying to yourself, uh, I'm gonna die for a ukulele, so I really wanna play it. And uh, once you already invested a lot of time in uh, doing research and uh, uh, ukulele stuff, attracting it, uh, feeling the, uh, the sound, stuff like that, I think that's you can tell for yourself that it's uh, time to start learning to play and in that case uh, you will not be easily discouraged by those uh, <coughs> by those uh, uh, difficult or more complex chord progressions and chords I just I just want to eliminate the uh, mortality of ukulele learning of players are because uh, I think 80% that wants to learn ukulele um, they don't make it I mean uh, they are uh, they stop uh, when they stumble upon um, a complicated uh, uh, theory and uh, they kind of find it a waste of time and uh, they just want to go back to their comfort zones so, that's it. Wanna learn the ukulele? Don't grab it first. <laughs> Might as well wanna hang a picture at your room for you to be obsessed and uh, your desire be at full level before you start playing, okay? Alright, thank you. Um, keep safe and love your life. All right. Stick around.